So I'm going to show you how to actually measure for the corner offset first. Okay, so let's just say that our conduit is on this wall and we're trying to get to this wall. Okay, and we're coming up this way. From underneath the floor, we just busted a hole through and we're coming up alongside this wall. Okay, in this direction. And we want to turn and go this way and bring the conduit over here. Okay, so we're coming up and we're trying to go around this edge. So the way to measure for it is you take your tape measure and wherever your conduit is, you measure to the edge. Okay, so let's just say it's six inches away to the edge. So your first offset would be a six inch offset. Then you measure again to the other side of the edge to where you want your conduit to land. Let's just say it's eight inches this time okay it so you have a six inch offset from this to this edge and then you have another eight inch offset from this edge to where your your conduit is supposed to land okay so you have two offsets basically all right so that's how you measure for that now i'm going to show you how to actually lay it out on the conduit So we have two offsets that we need to lay out for, okay? Now we're, we have the edge of the conduit here. Uh, being that we're doing two offsets, the first one's gonna be a six inch offset and the second one will be an eight inch offset, okay? So for the video, I'm just gonna start it out at, okay? My first mark, I'll start out at six inches. Come over here, I'll mark it, okay? Then my spacing, okay, is gonna be, for a six inch offset, is gonna be 12, okay? So we'll go ahead and mark it at 12, okay? My third one, okay? Now this one is important, all right? Okay, I have my second mark here. All right, I don't know if you can see that. I have my second mark there. Let me zoom in a little bit. There you go. So I have my second mark here. This is where my set, my first offset ends. Now we have spacing in between our first and our second offsets. Okay. The spacing, you can space it out as much as you decide, as much as you want. My suggestion to you is not to do it any less than six inches. Because if you do it shorter than six inches, the bends start to look a little funky. All right, they start to look a little weird and, and you don't want that, you want it to look very neat. So it looks pretty good at six inches. Anything less than that is gonna look a little weird. Okay, so for the video, I went with six inches, okay? So I came and I marked my pipe at six inches. So this is my C mark, my first mark for my second offset. I called it C. Okay, so now we're gonna finish off our second offset. And this one, okay. We said it's gonna be an eight inch offset, so we're gonna do a 16 inches, okay? Whatever the case may be. All right, so you have your four marks here. Okay, you have your A, which is your first offset, okay? Your B, that's the second bend. You have your spacing in between your first and second offsets. And then you have your last bend, okay? And the way that you're gonna bend them is in the same order that I have them laid out here. A, B, C, D, okay? In a push through method. You, know, you don't even need to take it out of the bender. You're just gonna simply push them through. The only way you'll take it out of the bender is if you need to flip it around and put it on the floor, but even then you don't have to take it off the bender. Okay, so you're gonna, you're gonna push them right through in that same order. The only thing that's going to change now this is important. The only thing that's gonna change is when you get to the first bend 
of the second offset, which is your third bend, C. Point C, you need to actually rotate it 90 degrees so that it's parallel to the floor. Your first offset needs to be parallel to the floor so that it can look so that both of the offsets are kind of like on a 90 degree angle from each other. Okay? So that's where you're going to do where you're going to where you're going to rotate it at point C. And then after that, you're going to finish it off at point D just like a regular offset. Okay? I'll show you exactly what I mean with the pipe on the bender. So, you have your conduit on the pipe you have your conduit on the bender, I mean. You're gonna place all four marks on the arrow. Okay, this is mark A. You commence to bend whatever degree you choose to bend. Let's just say 30 degrees. Okay, and you bend it. You could either bend it in the air or on the floor. At least for the first, you know what, I would do it on the floor, but this is just for the video. You slide it down after your first bend, again, on the arrow. Second bend, 30 degrees, or whatever you choose, and you bend it. Third bend, slide it down to the arrow again. This time, you're going to either rotate it 90 degrees to the left or to the right. Now, which direction you rotate it all depends on whether you're going with an inside corner offset or an outside corner offset. Okay, that all depends on what type of corner offset you're going with. After you're done with that and you have it leveled to where you want it and it's straight, you go down and finish it off with the last one on the arrow and you finish off your corner offset. So you have your first offset done and you're ready to rotate it and you rotate it, okay? And this direction is for my inside corner offset, okay? I have it on my point C and I bend it down to 30 degrees, okay? Making sure that everything is level and straight, not dogging it. This is my first bend is done. Now I slide it down, making sure that I don't do it again. And I go down to my arrow and I finish my corner offset up with another 30 degree bend or whatever degree bend you choose. Now, just so that you know, I'm doing it in the air. Whatever's comfortable for you to do, whether it be on the floor, or in the air, completely up to you, okay? If you wanted to do an inside corner offset, I would have flipped it around and turned my, my, my conduit to the other side, okay? So that's the only difference. Okay, so this is the corner offset the inside corner offset if i wanted an outside corner offset i would have come around this corner here and landed my conduit over here somewhere okay but this is the corner offset this is the gap the spacing in between the two offsets this is the six inch gap in between if i were you i wouldn't go any less than that Okay, because then it'll start to look a little, you know, a little sloppy. So, this is a very useful bend for you to know. It is in the books. I didn't make it up. It's called the corner offset. It hasn't been used. I don't really see anybody using these bends anymore. But it's useful. Let's just say that you're, you're coming from underneath the floor be below you. And you come up and you land on this floor here. Your conduit is on this wall and you need to get to a junction box over here. Let's just say it's a switch. Well, you can use a corner offset and get your conduit there. Okay? Now, another thing. The degree bends that you decide to do, you don't have to. But if you do one offset 30 degrees, it's recommended that you do the second offset 30 degrees as well. 
You don't have to. You can do a 30 and a 45 offset. Um, that's totally up to you. I've seen my suggestion. It looks better when you keep all four bends the same. Now, what you don't have to do is the first offset can definitely be a different size of offset. Let's just say you have a four inch offset on the bottom. The top offset does not have to be a four inch offset as well. You can use your discretion on that. Okay, now these are offsets. You might want to take shrink into account. That's something you're going to have to figure out out in the field. Okay, so this is the corner offset, inside corner offset. I'll be coming out with more videos soon. Okay, so now let me go over this on the actual diagram just in case you didn't catch that too well how to lay it out all right so now like i have you on the diagram you grab your conduit you're gonna actually do your first two marks like a regular simple original offset for the sake of the video let's just go by the diagram it's a six inch offset so your spacing would be Depending on your uh, degree of bend, let's just say it's a 30 degree bend you're using It would be 12 inch spacing in between for this 6 inch offset Okay So that's just like a regular offset So is this one here Okay So you have another second offset It's going to be an 8 inch offset on this side Same thing 30 degree bend There would be a 16 inch spacing in between C and D Now In between your two offsets this you can actually decide to have whatever it is that you want it to be you know you can do it six inches eight inches ten inches twelve whatever you want it to be that all depends on the height that you have to reach you know what i mean well the only thing that i do suggest and this is just a suggestion is that you do not do your spacing in between your offsets anything less than six inches. Why? Because it starts to look a little sloppy. Your bends are a little bit too close to each other. It just starts to look a little sloppy. So my suggestion is you don't go anything less than six inches in between your two offsets. Just a suggestion though. So um, other than that, what you need to do is on your point C is you need to rotate your conduit 90 degrees so that it's parallel to the floor so that it looks like a corner offset. Okay, now that's the only thing that changes is on C, the first bend on the second offset, you're going to rotate it. Okay, 90 degrees so that it's parallel to the floor. Now, depending on which side you rotate, you're going to have to actually see that for yourself out in the field. Okay. Um, other than that, that's how you lay it out and you bend the uh, corner offset. Another thing, which I did show you already, but I'm going to remind you, is that you want to do a push-through method. You want to do A first, B second, C third, and D last. Other than that, you should be fine. Thank you for watching.